China has delivered the last batch of the key components for the world's biggest artificial sun. This mega project aims to create clean and sustainable energy through a fusion process for the global energy supply. So, what is an artificial sun? How is the energy it generates different? And what is China's role? Let's find out in this episode of Tech Breakdown. Let's start with what an artificial sun is. Of course, it's not the sun above our heads that provides energy to life on Earth, but there are similarities. In modern society, human activities are inseparable from energy. The fossil fuels we have commonly used, such as coal, oil, and natural gas, are not inexhaustible. And more importantly, they are not eco-friendly. Wind and water energy are clean, but the output can be easily affected by natural conditions. There's nothing like the sun to provide humans with unlimited clean energy. An artificial sun is a mega nuclear fusion device, which generates energy through a fusion process similar to that of the sun. The process uses atomic nuclei to generate large amount of energy into electricity by merging hydrogen atoms to create helium. Countries around the world have been investing in the development of artificial suns. One important project is the ITER located in France, the world's biggest artificial sun I mentioned at the beginning. The ITER, or the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, is a globe-spanning collaboration of 35 nations set in motion in 1985. China, among the seven principal members of the project, is responsible for the development and manufacture of the whole magnet supporting system. The system weighs more than 1,600 tons. It's one of the core structural safety components of the ITER. Its quality and delivery are related to the operational stability and assembly progress of the whole project. The delivery of the last batch of these vital parts concluded the magnet support system development and manufacturing components of the ITER scheme. The ITER, a carbon-free source of energy, is designed to yield 500 megawatts of fusion power from 50 megawatts of input heating power for at least 400 seconds continuously. In April, one of China's artificial suns, named the Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, achieved a steady-state high-confinement plasma operation for 403 seconds, providing an important experimental basis for the operation of ITER. China has been contributing extensively to the development of artificial suns. The latest breakthrough came from the Huanliu-3. In August, the new generation artificial sun achieved the high confinement mode operation with a plasma current of 1 million amperes for the first time, proving China's ability in controllable nuclear fusion. Clean and sustainable energy has become a universal goal in our era. Let's look forward to hearing more good news from the scientists of the suns on Earth.